Welcome back everybody. Today we are going to have a special mid-season episode or uh, probably a couple of episodes because today we are going to make a start on one of the challenges in the game, one of the campaign challenges. And um, yeah, you know, I thought that today, ah, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna do a couple of these, and as it turns out, I even unlocked the uh, desert theme. But as it turns out, it wasn't that easy. I mean, guys, the amount of time you have to wait um, to unlock the the next step on these challenges is insane. For instance, um, for this uh, tapir one, we had to get donation. I had to get donations. Um, I had to breed a couple of animals and it's just I literally just like bought a couple of zookeepers uh, ran the park you know the, the park was running by itself I just sat down on the couch and I was listening to music because I just didn't want to do anything with the park it's just like waiting and this challenge oh boy I actually did my research for this one because it's going to be a very hard one, a very very hard challenge. We're gonna start 35k, very low amount of money, and we have to get a 5 star zoo with nothing but endangered species. Now I know what you are thinking, but extinct animals don't count. It has to be endangered species or critically endangered. Uh, now what you can do, and a lot of people did this, is you can reach five stars uh, with any sort of animal, you know, endangered or non-endangered, doesn't matter. And then you sell those animals, but you have to, um, I guess you have to maintain your zoo for a couple of months on five stars. So I thought that what I would do is, I, I don't want to cheat on this one. I just want to do it the hard way. I want to have only endangered species. And for that, I wanted to go online. I wanted to get a list of all the endangered species for uh, for for one for step one uh, because it would be more clear. So what I did, this took me a couple of uh, minutes to figure out, but I imported all the all the animals in Zoo Tycoon Two and all the expansions into this Excel sheet. It took some time because the images were messed up. It doesn't matter. And what you can do here, you can see there's like all sorts of animals. Uh, what we can do is we can sort, we can sort by anything, you can sort by star rating, you can, uh, not auto sum, I always click on auto sum because I think that's the icon. You can sort by star rating, cost, location, whatever, right? And I sorted by status, and I here, here are all of the endangered species, and you can see I sorted by star rating so it's easier to see. Now you might notice one problem. The fact that there's no starter anymore uh, that is you know half a star rated and endangered so we're gonna have to do something else. I was uh, thinking let me put this back before you guys see on my display. I had to do display capture because Excel is messed up in OBS for some reason. Uh, let me take this off before you see my porn stash um, what I was thinking is we would probably do like a tropical biome uh, enclosure like a huge one uh, and put bongos in it or something oh, by the way did you guys know that um, bongo so the deer animal that lives in the tropical rainforest it's actually not low risk anymore. It's it's getting a bit. It's still like close to low risk, but it's getting a little bit endangered in the wild. So yeah, we have to create the zoo that uh, is five stars, contains only blah blah blah. Obviously, it's impossible at the very beginning. Uh, first thing we're gonna check. What the fuck? Conservation area. There's no reason to have this. I did actually read the lore uh, behind this this um, this map. I don't know where we are. Uh, yeah, I, I, the lore is so interesting, guys. I mean, the Zoo Tycoon Expanded Universe is just mind-blowing. Anyways, 
also when there is uh, some downtime I'm gonna go go this is a cool idea I'm gonna read about the animal the endangered uh, species that we are trying to save here I'm gonna go on Wikipedia and then just fucking do it so let's start is there are there so there are there's gonna be a lot of marine animals and by a lot I mean three of them the two type of types of sea turtles as well as the sea otter yeah they are not living in reefs so I'm not gonna buy manta rays um, not gonna buy gazelles uh, what I will buy is pea fowls or peacocks because I've read online that they actually bring in a lot of cash guests love the male peacocks uh, because I guess they show their feathers and it's like kind of cool. So we unlock the desert theme. Um, for this one, we're probably just gonna use low rail. Fa the other challenge I had uh, that I just did uh, had peacocks and like there, there were so many problems with like guests freaking out because the animals tried to attack them or something, but they didn't. So it was really weird, super weird. Um, we actually gonna make a giant enclosure a giant temperate forest enclosure and if you are worrying because you should be worrying about um, what if you know you're gonna have a giant enclosure sure but the animals is gonna like fucking hide and it's important to show the animals because donation money is fucking the be all and uh, I shouldn't swear donation money is the be all end all in this game um, but so far our experience was that um, if you put the food at the very beginning of the fence or like you know near where the guests would be uh, near the path actually fine why can't I okay, here we go put some bamboo put these bamboos like somewhere else because it's blocking the view uh, now sometimes <laughs> what I noticed in this game is guests can see animals even if it's like a really tall fence I don't know how and then when it's low when it's like a low little fence like this sometimes the animal is right next to the guest and by guest I mean you know like park guest and it, they just don't, they just can't see it it's so annoying they cannot see the animal we'll try it nonetheless and uh, in the for the very beginning we only gonna buy two I might actually buy more I'm just you know what I'm worried about I'm worried that why are they oh, they eat grass too it's really weird I'm just gonna buy some blueberries why not we aren't gonna unlock this for now we got all the other stuff guests are gonna come in soon that's fine we have enough time so I'm not gonna buy too many because the number of species is as important as the number of animals so you see it's aligned that means the way the game should be played is uh, generally you buy two of everything a male and a female right the only problem is are we going to reach are we expecting to reach one star with just these two animals no are we expecting to reach one star with a bunch of the same animals so buying like seven peacocks uh, probably not <laughs> unfortunately I don't think so and the way this game works is if you are going to buy animals you should buy them as soon as possible because you don't actually pay once you buy the enclosure, once you buy their, you know, food and whatnot, you don't actually pay extra for, you know, replenishing food, shit like that. I like these uh, puya plants; they're really cool. Um, so yeah, I I really don't know if I'm gonna buy more or not. Fuck. Well, we could, um, I guess, build another enclosure. I wonder what this park size is. 
the spark size is I'm pretty sure medium by the way just by looking at the, the fence and again I'm gonna go and cheat uh, go uh, look at the Excel sheet and then we can check what biomes we are going to have by the way at 3.5 so three and a half stars there's so many animals for some reason there's <laughs> just so many um, at the very beginning we're gonna have sea turtle coastal that's gonna be weird we're gonna have uh, let me because when you click on the image it opens the link um, we're gonna have desert tropical rainforest fuck I clicked on it again Tropical rainforest, scrub, desert, savanna, alpine. It's basically everything. Savanna. Um, I don't really want to build a giant desert enclosure, but we might actually do that. It wouldn't be too bad. Tropical rainforest. Uh, we can do a desert. We can do either. We can do desert. Oh yeah, by the way, the reason why uh, guests aren't coming is because I'm stupid. Um, guests never come into your park. Unless you have a footpath uh, pretty close to the enclosure. I'm not sure how the exact the programming works, but this having just like this asphalt here apparently didn't count it's a bit iffy also it's annoying because we cannot have jungle safari it's it's annoying because we because this is a um, campaign mission we are going to get quests to earn some extra money Um, anyways, not gonna worry about it uh, just now. I'm gonna put down a bench because it doesn't have an upkeep cost. Here, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna put the bench uh, facing the enclosure because guests like to sit down and then look at animals. So as I was saying, we could have a desert enclosure here. Put down some dromedary camels. Or on the other hand, we could we could do the same, but have a tropical rainforest, and then later on we can put down uh, tapirs. B -b 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 Let's not forget to uh, turn the display capture off soon. So at one star we have the scimitar or uh, I almost said it in like a fucking French way, scimitar horned oryx desert. And at one and a half we have uh, the tapir, which is tropical rainforest. And then we also have uh, the giant turtle scrub. Scrub is such a weird name, scrub biome. But then again, it was 2004, so it wasn't a very, very uh, generic internet swear word. Oops, fuck. Actually, clicked on it. Okay. Um, oh yeah, we are going to have a desert because it's a little bit easier. And we're gonna make it symmetrical. So it's one, two, three, four. Sell this. We're gonna actually get so much money from selling these trees. Three hundred, two hundred, three hundred can actually make a lot of money because there's a ton of trees and we aren't going to need uh, another temperature biome uh, exhibit well that's a lie uh, we might need an extra one um, for I think there's a bear but I don't think it's endangered so never mind I lied um, so we're gonna do that and we're gonna get we're trying to get a head start yep uh, free and then Speed it up. But it will be easier to see once we do this. Uh, 
Uh, I'm not going to do elevated puffs just now. Okay, so they are watching it there. Um, that's fine, but I'm I'm gonna actually make this here, um, and then we can put uh, the not not the I always call them arches, but the um, the viewing canopies there. So guests know to come here because that's where the food is and that's the most likely place where they can see an animal, where the food is. So here we're going to do desert. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to get any brownie points for um, using the desert theme next to the desert. It works with buildings, I think, but I'm not sure it works with the just like path. It's fine. We're gonna have two camels. And we might be able to reach one star, but I'm not a hundred percent on that with just these. I think I make it pretty, you know, in the meantime. But we also need to buy some food stuff. Let's make it rock. And then make a little river. pond a couple of plants and we need some trees uh, it's important to put trees uh, actually we have the shade structure so it actually doesn't matter I just saw those plants <laughs> never mind um, it's important to have either trees or shade structure but um, in the other challenge uh, I had scimitar horned oryxes also research this I had scimitar horned oryxes. What theme should we use? And they didn't actually sleep in the shade um, of the trees. So obviously, I'm not going to put you know food stuff here and then here. We're gonna just put it in the middle somewhere here. Um, but at the same time, we might just have two food places here and here. Uh, to please the guests because the problem is that I don't if you put it in the middle here uh, guests are gonna be too far away if, you, if they come like this far uh, but what we could do at the same time is just end the fence there yeah and then we can just have one food stuff there's no endangered species food path for some reason so we just have to use asphalt unfortunately we don't have the gray one unlocked which is what like concrete or something I guess Thirty, sixty, eighty. It's fine, and we are going to put down for now. Uh, one family restroom. Ideally, I want to put it here. So guests can kind of like sense it there. Um, also, it's a bit big. The hot dog stand. And the soda stand can go right next to each other. So maybe the guests can sense it better. Don't need this big shit. Um, put some nice benches and it's important to put more than one bin okay another thing we're gonna do um, is later on we're gonna put down a candy cart Dessert cart, I mean. Because they want that too. It's a separate from separate uh, need from just plain food. And here we're gonna do the exact same thing. One, two, three, four, 
five six one two three four five six and the donation box is also going to be desert themed good shit Uh, what I don't understand is that guy gave us a donation apparently according to his, sorry according to his thoughts but he didn't see any animals so <laughs> I guess maybe he did everybody's donating one dollar yeah one dollar each because we had five dollar donate we had a total of five dollars in donations and there were five donors it's not much <laughs> would you ever like just give I guess like in in real life it is one dollar. These people come in and then they don't. Oh no, they are actually hungry. I thought they were coming in right now from the zoo, but no. People come in and then uh, diverge. Uh, we are also going to put down an endangered species fountain right in the middle. Oh fuck, it's not. It's not symmetric. Shit. Wait, what? No, it is. It just... It's not symmetric. So it's free... Look, it's free by free. But when you rotate it, it's not free by free. It's free by four. It's retarded. I guess we're just gonna use any of the other... Yeah, every, all other ones are symmetric except this one. What the hell? Um, an archway for some reason the marine archway is already unlocked uh, the other ones unlock at one star so I don't know why that one is different okay just gonna put down a jungle one it's important to put down the um, put down these not scenery objects but amusement objects I would call them Why is he angry? Why doesn't he like this zoo? People are angry as fuck. People are really angry. <laughs> I might actually have to put down a soda stand here and then put another one on the other side. It would have been maybe better to put the camels here. No, it doesn't matter that much. If you put the camels here and then the uh, food stuff here, it would have been better, but oh well. Because these people are all using the all gonna be using the bathroom, I'm actually gonna put down another one. What are they doing? Just standing around. Yeah, the, yeah, they don't see them, I don't think. Zero. Standing. So just gonna put them here. Um, we really need more animals, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, we're also going to do buy the rest of the exhibits. I want to check something. Or it's an easy way to check by just doing this buff. So it's twenty-eight tiles. Yeah, the same. Okay. We'll put something here and then there too. Uh, might as well put a savanna. I want cage. I, they're not gonna ex escape, obviously. Let's 
fine, 975. Again, um, 975. I'm gonna put cage there. Fucking plant. Normally, if you do it over plants, it just deletes them, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Here, 975, 1500. A lot of money. Cost more than the animals at this point, but what can you do? So one of them is going to be tropical rainforest. I'm gonna leave that wooden fence on the side there for now. We're gonna leave the bamboo. And we don't actually need water. I'm gonna put the shade here too so the guests can see it. Branches. Uh, gates. We can also make use of this uh, conservation area. Yeah, this is big enough for. Um, I wonder if you get a bon. You should get a bonus if you put in a conservation area. This is not like I'm saying it, it's a game thing. I'm, I'm saying that that would be a cool idea if it was part of the game. I don't think it is though. I don't think you get a bonus. Or anything like that. So expensive. Move everything here. Yeah, ideally, uh, for this challenge, I guess you. I think after one star, we can just uh, roll with the endangered species altogether. But at the very beginning, you need to have more. I don't know if this is enough might not be we might need an extra one we might actually buy like an extra species and then just fucking get one star instantly either way we're gonna continue with our cool jungle theme it looks horrible I don't like when it's not oh fuck I don't like when it's not you know like smooth <laughs> Someone take your sweet roll. And then we are also going with the jungle themed box. We just have one here. Or both. I don't know if they sense that from here, but we're gonna roll with that. So I don't like how ba barren that exhibit is. So. There you have it. Couple more trees, if I'm not gonna sell them, might as well use them. Not that out of place. I guess like temperate forest is the closest we're gonna get to um, tropical rainforest when it comes to like scenery people are not happy no 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 bad comments here I, I guess it only shows the last five uh, five thoughts so I don't know yeah it, you know, they need amusement but we have the fountain here we go one star um, so at one star At one star, we unlocked, uh, unfortunately, the sea turtle. That's gonna be a bit iffy, isn't it? However, yeah, because sea turtles can go on the land, so we can't just dig a ditch and then put them in that ditch. Uh, on the other hand, we also unlocked the, the desert oryx. There we go, sea turtle. We should empty the bins. Both of them are full, great. 
so they're educated because uh, the peacocks are in the right biome. Yeah, the last couple of times I, I've been placing animals in the wrong biome on purpose. Just wanted to go with a certain theme. Well, we, what we can do on the other hand is just... Yeah, this is not expensive, like $50 a fence is pretty cheap. We can have a small exhibit here, perfect. It's really good, I think. Um, because the other, uh, we're gonna have sea otters as well, so we should calculate for that. Ideally, we should have a big enough fence. It's free there. Honestly. Yeah, I'm gonna do something really cool that I like. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. bit expensive but I think it's going to be worth it when it comes to uh, looks and then the rest can just be fence um, I'm not sure how long oh yeah that's fine Honestly, they can, I guess, just view it from this end. One more? Oh no, it's, it was fine. Three. And what we are going to do, it's going to be a bit iffy to manage. Camel is pregnant, perfect. Or like, not perfect, but like, that's pretty good. Uh, and let's not fuck around. We are professionals afterwards. <laughs> uh, let's unlock the new animal uh, for our desert exhibit. And that's all we need for now. One, two, palm trees. You're gonna put this here so it generates some guest happiness. Got some really really bad donations. It's pretty bad, but it's fine. And let's finish this up. I'm gonna click on sea turtle, go into their biome, do deep water. Still, it's going to waste money, I guess. 140. I'm not really good at saving money, am I? <laughs> and also, we should have done this first. Always do the land. What the fuck? Fun. It's fine, we just unlocked arches. Could have a marine theme, but it just looks bad. Where is here? We go jungle arch. Cool. I like that. I like that. And this is the trick. So you did. We did deep water, and then we're gonna flatten the terrain. That kid is gonna fall to his death. It's all right. It's in the name of progress after all. Let's buy them. Oops, I 
I like buying the male first, so you know, number one is always male, and then the second one is female because it's easier to track. Not because I'm racist. Not because I'm racist. What? Not because I'm sexist. I do other things because I'm sexist. But buying the animal. Buying first the male and then the female is not one of them. So don't worry. I'm just kidding. Uh, so uh, we're gonna do this stuff. And actually, deep water is gonna go in here as well. We mostly wanna have deep water. We could actually just make a sea otter show when we get to it. Because that would generate some money as well. But, yeah, leave it. And then put the seafood here. And let's fill this in. Oh no, do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna fill it in the jungle. And we're gonna give it a little like jungle theme to these sea turtles. It's like an exploration. Fuck, I can't. Sorry, I'm like. I drank an energy drink, so I'm like. Uh, I have a lot of bubbles in me. Jungle theme. Uh, put the donation box here because we're gonna have a path co op that, that way later. Let's clean the trash cans because I know they're gonna be full. Let's fill up this hay. Let's give these guys a little bit of more plantation. Not many people here, even though we have a monster animal there. We should refill these. Clean the exhibit because it's full of poo. Oh, a little chick was born. Also, bongos are fine. I gave them branches and water. It's okay. Give them a scratching post. Oh, it's not unlocked. Okay. Whatever. And we n ideally we need a clam um, bubbler because I'm I'm not sure if uh, marine animals can. Uh, Fulfill their en their enrichment need. Otherwise, now guests cannot fucking see the bongos. So what we will do, so guests know where to uh, view them, is put a jungle viewing canopy here. And flatten. Or smoothen the terrain. Put the branches here. And then put the clam bubbler here as well. We can make this look really nice. A couple of sea urchins. Kelp. I love kelp. Normally put them around everywhere. And it's like whatever plant. Can you pronounce this? <laughs> Can you pronounce this viewer? Can you? You lie. You lie, boy or girl. Right. Here we go. Look how weird it is when it's like coming out of the water. Is that realistic? Probably not, but it's right. And sea turtles. So the reason why you have a desert island is because uh, that's where I'm not sure if they can sleep underwater, but that's where they lay their eggs. If you don't have, um, you know, a shore, a shoreline. So then we put this kelp forest here. They can also sleep there. We don't need to unlock the island. And yeah, put a couple of plants here and there. Make it grassy. So they can say grassy ass. Cool. 
uh, put some entrances here and there fuck fuck I made it wrong oh, don't shout at me in the comment section so um, I'm just gonna do this because I'm how one two three four one two three four okay bongo pregnant uh, sorry pregnant and do this make a gate and also going to put a gate look how many people there are uh, here what look how many people there are <laughs> look how many people are here viewing our turtles shit and they're also gonna put a bench somewhere here jungle one mind you one and a half stars perfect um, by the way I haven't been looking or paying attention to our money uh, whatsoever which is why we probably have three thousand three thousand is nothing <laughs> it's so very little can you move these archways you cannot I, I never understood that to be honest one two three well we are uh, we're gonna have savannah here I guess or something like that we also need do we need grassland uh, we need scrub so right now I'm looking at the Excel sheet. We need a uh, Galapagos giant turtle. So that's scrub and a tapir is jungle. Probably gonna do the tapirs now. We got, a, we got the turtle. So this is going to be, I guess, the safari path. So it starts at five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. I think there's three. No, there are only two. One, two, three, four. It starts at four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck it. What? <laughs> okay. We just do it this way. And then it's, it can go in here. Not, not that it matters. I hate when it's dark. Second one. Here. And now we need money. Another thing that you saw there was that we need to clean the water as well so marine animals they poo in the water and instead of like picking up poo obviously you just clean the water like that oh I hate that you can ride sea animals which is cool but I always think that they are dirty groom okay probably shouldn't groom them anyways because it's another thing they can do to impress the guests We are only going to be selling these like bongos and peacocks and uh, the camels when we reach five stars because at that point it do it's not gonna matter that much I have the turtle nine monitor is low risk interestingly enough yeah Manati I'm pretty sure is um, not vulnerable it's probably endangered at this point we're gonna end the episode soon this could be, yeah. This could be its full series. 
it's just one challenge I guess uh, we're gonna end the episode after I buy some tapirs No, 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 no. Oh, we got it. Shit, I forgot to do this. It's okay, it wasn't full. So we need six thousand. Um, I'm gonna buy one. Actually, it's actually it doesn't eat uh, grass or like branches. I mean, it's fine. I'm gonna buy a dessert cart. We also are going to probably buy a jeep ride interestingly enough or better yet a skyline um, but for now cotton candy here let's not forget to buy extra bins here like nobody here even though we have one star animals here I never understood that I guess these oryxes are not super interesting but yeah um, just to end the episode on an educational note scimitar oryx they look really cool in real life actually let me let me do this Hang on. that's what they look like look really like creepy honestly they're super fucking white not, not to sound racist or anything they look really like ghostly Ah, really cool. That's why they probably got hunted down to oblivion because they just like really easy to see. So yeah, scimitar horned oryx is also known as Sahara oryx. That would have been a much cooler name, <coughs> by the way, for this game. Uh, it has a long taxonomic history since description in 1816 200 years ago holy shit this antelope stands a little more than one meter at the shoulder and males weigh up to from 140 to 200 kilograms which is around 450 pounds by the way for you Americans females Weigh a bit less. Okay, um, the calves are born yellow. Um, oh shit! So the oryx forms herds, groups of them, and this group can reach up to seventy members. Seventy member herds, usually guided by the bulls. So it's similar to you know other African um, animals. Like the wildebeest, for instance, they I inhabited semi-desert, so they they actually extinct in the wild. You cannot find them anymore in the wild. How sad is that? You can only, f you can only find them in zoos like this. It used to be widespread across northern Africa. It declined because as a result of the climate change. Oh wow! So it wasn't just hunting. Oh yeah, and it was also hunted by the ho for the for the horns. <laughs> Today, it's breeding captivity. In special reserves in uh, Tunisia, Morocco, and Senegal, 
that's where we are. <laughs> ah, that doesn't look like Senegal. That's alright. Scimitar Oryx was domesticated in ancient Egypt. Oh wow. And it was used for its food, sacrificed as offerings. What? For the gods. Of course. Wealthy people in ancient Rome also bred them. How cool is Imagine if like you are an ancient Roman and then you just like breed them. What's, what a cool profession. We should buy, by the way, in the meantime, we should buy a tapir soon. I don't mind going into red. Zero water. Remains in the peacock, so let's refresh that, refill that. Get these sorted. Nice, so they throw the trash on the ground. Sick. Let's put a bin here. And the recycle bin. $150 for recycle bin, what the hell. Yeah, just use the toilet. It's like, oh, I have to go to the toilet, I hate this zoo. But like, the toilet is right next to you. Anyways, carrying on. The scimitar oryx was the emblem of the ancient Egyptian oryx gnome. I don't know what that means. And today is the animal symbol of the Sahara Conservation Fund. Oh, I've seen that actually, I think. Why do people throw trash on the ground? Probably because of the cotton candy, right? So yeah, there you go. Next episode, we're going to be learning about, I guess, the tapir or something else. The tapir tapirs are so cool. These, these are my favorite animals, one of my favorite animals in the game. Look how, look how it looks. It's just like... It's a jungle pig. And it doesn't even have the um the um the horn not the horn, it's not a horn, it's a, like a, the pig teeth gores. I think they are called gores. Yeah, look how cute it is and it's probably not um dangerous. It's just a nice animal. So yeah, thank you for watching. See you next episode. Bye bye.